Right, so today we're down at the workshop. Um, we've got this auto sleeper. Um, Jason's car has sent me down because we've got a problem. So, the problem being, we've got a leaky shower tap. This is something that crops up quite often. Uh, people put things on Facebook and they've got a leaky tap, you know, how do I replace it, this, that and the other. Right, so what we're going to show you is a nice cheap fix. So, as you can see, we've got your kitchen tap there. And if I show you now, we've got the tap primed up. And we turn that on, we've got water coming out. And you see all around there, it's nice and dry. The pump will go off in a minute. And what we've got is, the problem is, with a shower tap, which is the same sort of tap, same situation. I can't put the light on, light on in here because the, we've got an extractor fan that kicks in. So if I put the light on, you won't hear what I'm saying. So I'll just show you there now. Here's your tap. I'll put the shower head in the wash basin. And if I turn the tap on, make sure it's going into the basin, not all over me. If you look there, we've got water running down from inside the tap. So your first thoughts are, oh, I've got to replace the tap. No, you don't. Right. So we will now show you what the cause is. The tap actually has a cartridge in it, it could be that one. It could be that one. It could be that one. There's three different types of cartridge. So the thing to do, you can get these cartridges from uh, B&Q, anywhere like that. So what you need to do first is extract the old cartridge. So, we're going to show you how to do that. First thing we need to do is turn the tap on, release the pressure, which I've done, into the wash basin. And then unscrew the stem of the tap. It might be a bit hard to show you this, but I'll try it. I'll uh, use my torch on my phone. If you look inside there, I don't know if you can see it, there is a small Allen screw. So what we need to do is get the allen keys and we'll remove that screw. We can then remove the top of the tap to start. As you can see, it's quite a small allen screw. So we undo the allen screw, which is inside the tap. And then we can remove the head. You can see there inside there, that's where the allen screw is and the head, which goes onto that shaft. And just pop that down there. Then you've got a ring that should unscrew, but we need to go and get some grips to unscrew that. So we've got to unscrew that ring, then inside there we've got a brass nut which we can remove and then we can extract the, uh, the barrel. Yep, so we'll now go and get something so we can get that unscrewed and then I'll show you removing the barrel and replacing the barrel. Right, once we've removed the uh, the tap head. We then got to remove this outer ring. This one was a bit tight, so I had to do it with a pair of pump pliers, but wrapped a piece of rag around it so it didn't mark it. So I have slackened it off. We can now remove that. And what you see there now is a big brass nut. Yeah, it's about 27 or 28 mil. A big spanner. <laughs> So what we've got now is, I've got a 28 mil. we'll just slap that off, yeah, We're not usually very tight, so you shouldn't have any issues with that. Let me span it down and do the rest with my hand. He says it's not very tight, it's tight a bit, right. So we just... Easy this, I'm, I'm holding the camera, I'm doing the job as well, you know, it's, uh, it's been right. So there we go, and here's our cartridge, wriggle the cartridge out, you can only go in one way, and as you see there, oh look, the rubber o-rings are missing, and the rubber o-rings are stuck in there. So we'll peel those rubber o-rings out, which are probably the cause of the problem, 
which are those there. So now we need to go and find the correct cartridge. Like I say, there are three types. Uh, so that's the one we've removed. As you can see, it's got three holes and it's got the two pins there. So we know it's not that one because that's only got the two. So you look and they match. So what you do is you take that to be in cure somewhere and you get that for about seven quid, six, seven quid, something like that. And that's our replacement one. So we're now going to pop the replacement one in. And as you can see, it can only go in one way. And it locates on the two lugs. It says. located on my two lugs so that's now in the correct position we then place the brass nut taking care of this cross thread it obviously We've now tightened the, uh, the brass screw, so what I will do before I replace this ring on the top, make sure the tap's turned off. I'll go and power the pump up again, and then we'll check it and make sure there's no leaks before we reassemble. If you hear a bleep in it's because we're low on water. But, uh, right, so the pump stopped. do now is I can operate the tap without putting the handle on. As you can see we've got the shower running and voila no leaks. So we'll now turn that off and reassemble. This only needs to be finger tight it's only a brass trim, it doesn't serve any purpose, it doesn't seal any water, so there's no point in over tightening it. And then put the head back on the tap, so that way so we can get out of the screw. And then we'll just tighten the, uh, the grub screw which is inside it. Again, it doesn't need to be mega tight. Just finger tight just to stop the tap pulling off. Screw that in there. And then final check. <coughs> I try the tap in various positions. So there in a the cold position, turn it all the way to the hot position. And as you can see now, no leaks. Tapped perfectly dry, uh, and there's your cheap fix for repairing your tap. Hope this was useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe and put any comments in the box, and there'll be more tips to follow. That's from me, Kev. Okay, see you soon. Right, we've arrived back at the ranch. We'll see if Jason's made me a cup of tea. See what he's up to. Some sky in somewhere. Oh, can't find him. Jase, why are you walking around like a wally? I sorted your plumbing problems out. I sorted your water works out. What water works? In that van. What was up with it? It was a cartridge. I told you it was a cartridge, that's why I said take the cartridges with it. I know. So I've sorted your plumbing problem out and your water works, you didn't have to go to the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever made a cup of tea? No, you make up. Alright, I've not even had a brew there. 
Send anyway. you back down again, Kev. Eh? Send you back down again. It's all sorted anyway. All right. Right. Just fixing the problems on this, but that you checked off. What problem? What, There's no problem. No.